Thank you. I'm so excited to be back. You know, I got really nervous in the middle of the album creation. And I was like, one day I think to myself, wow, I love this. This is great music. It's the best music I've ever written. And then sometimes I'd be like, oh my gosh, this is the worst music I've ever written. And I'd get really nervous. But you know, about like a month, like once the album was done and turned in and I couldn't change it, I just let it go. And then I just got really excited. You know, I stopped worrying and I'm not worried anymore. And it came out and, you know, a lot of people said they loved it. And some people said it wasn't their favorite. But like for the most part, my fans have loved it. I'm really proud of it. And like I'm not worried anymore. It is what it is. And I'm happy with it. Um, I find inspiration from a lot of different places for this specific album it came from a story that I was writing and I wrote a comic book at the same time as I wrote the album and so the comic book in uh, story as I wrote it would inspire the music and then the music I was writing would inspire the story so they kind of fed each other um, and the album is called Artemis Artemis is the goddess of the moon the goddess of the hunt and the protector of virtue and fertility and so the themes and the you know the concepts of the album all kind of came from that and a lot of it ties into the moon and the cycles of the moon and the phases and bringing light to darkness and so that's what inspired this album. Um, I'm very much like I just kind of start a song and figure it out as, as we go. You know, I don't, I walk in a lot of times with a theme or with an idea or with um, like a, a sometimes even a music video idea. You know, I'll, I'll go in and tell the producers kind of what I want to feel like. And then sometimes it does end up feeling like that. Sometimes it goes way over here. And sometimes it's better like that. You're like, whoa, I did not expect to write something like that today. It's very different than what I hoped for, but I, I love it. And other times you're like, oh, too far, too far. So you never know, but it's always exciting when a song takes on its own life. A good song for me is a song that makes you feel something. Whether that is like, I love it when I listen to a song and it just makes me happy. Or it like tugs at my heartstrings and you're like, whoa, whoa that's powerful, you know, and or ooh, that's dark. You know, like I just love it when music makes you feel something and almost it I like it when music tells a story to be honest and that's why I love film scores so much is because I feel like they're telling a story they're telling you that there's an adventure happening or that someone is sad or that someone's excited like that music to me is emotion Yes, I mean, I've loved Amy Lee and Evanescence since I was a teenager and I to this day love them and it was really exciting to like go on tour with them. It was kind of a dream come true for me. And so it was really fun when I, you know, was writing this album and actually the song that she's on, it started out as an instrumental song and I just felt like it needed a little something more. And so, um, you know, I asked Amy if she would be interested in, you know, co-writing this song with me and singing on it and wow she took the song to a whole new level I just I love it and it's I can tell it's already like a fan favorite um I mean I've been an Elle fan since she you know kind of emerged since she did X's and O's and um yeah, it all kind of came about like I met her years ago at a festival and, you know, we talked. And so, you know, but I've always wanted to work with her. And this finally was just the perfect song, perfect time. And uh, she's been so great to work with. Yes, I... I fell into depression when I was in my early 20s um, pretty deeply. And it all stemmed from an eating disorder. I had anorexia. And I think that because I was going through anorexia, depression came along with it. Um, I also 
fell into depression after my best friend and my dad died. Completely different reasons, but just going through that kind of extreme loss, like took me into like a depression that lasted for about two years. And in each case, different things helped me, but the same things helped me. Like, you know, um, I learned a lot about self-love and self-forgiveness and acceptance of where you're at. And um, I think sometimes we're really hard on ourselves and we judge ourselves. But um, learning, one, to accept the feelings I was having and then to work through them, to not think that I'm worthless because I'm sad. Like sadness is a part of life and sometimes situations make you sad, um, such as loss. And just realizing that I need to give myself time to feel these things. And, um, but I still kept working on myself. I, I, you know, I did some therapy. I listened to positive podcasts. I listened to music that uplifts me. I wrote music. I, t I shared my story through music, um, over and over and over again through shows and through albums. And, you know, finally I came out of it, you know, in both cases. And I do feel like that's kind of one of the themes of this album is the, the moon goes through cycles and sometimes it's bright and it's lighting up the entire sky and other times it gets covered in shadow and you might think that it's not there anymore if you didn't know better and that's what I felt like at times sometimes I felt like I'm whole and I'm happy and good and other times I get covered by shadow and I'm depressed but I just have to remember that if I keep working on myself and if I keep remembering that underneath it all I'm still the moon I'm still powerful I'm still beautiful and I still glow and I will come back I think that's a powerful lesson and I hope that people will find themselves in Artemis and realize that, yeah, you're always powerful and you will, you can find your light again. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that, and that's another theme I like to think about is even in the middle of hardship and depression, I've still found moments of joy. I still found light in the darkness, the same way the moon brings light to the darkness, you know? And I think um, that's an important thing to remember is just because you're going through a hard time doesn't mean that you can't find light inside yourself. You can't share light. And by sharing light with other people, you know, and going up on stage and smiling, even if I'm having a hard time, it helps me pull myself out of these hardships. Like performing and expression really is a way that I've helped, that have I guess helped me come out of my my hardships. Ooh, I'm so excited about this show. Um uh, it's just exciting to be doing a new show and we're doing some things in it that we've never done before, but it's very theatrical. Like I love costume changes. I love sparkles. I love dancers. Um, so there's a lot of choreography. There's a lot of storytelling. Um, and, you know, these themes of the Artemis album about like finding your inner light and, you know, and finding light and darkness. That's kind of the theme of the tour. And so they'll keep fans will keep seeing that kind of show up throughout the show, you know, um, through the different numbers, whether we're pirates or whether we're ballerinas or whether we're, you know, warriors, you know, those those are kind of the themes that will be there over and over again. But it's fun. I, I think people are really going to come and be entertained and hopefully be uplifted. Yes, I am. I will be 33. We will find time. I don't think we have a day off, but I know that one of the days off will go out. We'll celebrate my birthday. I believe in celebrating birthdays. You know, I think everybody deserves to feel special on their birthday. And um, I love I've had many birthdays on tour and it's always fun. Even if I'm doing a show and I'm working all day, it's still my birthday and I get to celebrate it with my fans and with my tour family. Um, so we're definitely going to get cake. Definitely going to get ice cream or actually, no, we're going to get cookies. I'm really big into chocolate chip cookies right now. So we're going to get cookies. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking with you.